he's just turned into that guy that you give him the ball if you want something to happen and nine times out of ten he'll find something. He's so accurate, he's fast, he's a great bouncer. He can play a holding role, he can play an attacking role, he can be the aggressor. It felt like he took three for every innings of the test series, so and he never bowls poorly and to his credit he always backs it up in the last two tests. I think he bowled about 100 overs in a week, so he's got great stamina. Probably my biggest problem with Pat is over bowling him. It's like it seems to me at the moment that there's not a situation or a batter in the game that doesn't suit him bowling to. And even when he, I can visibly see he's cooked, it's amazing to see him bowl one or two balls and the competitiveness come into him and then he uh, might say, can you give me one or two from that end? He's like, yeah. And then he bowls his one or two and I say, I'll sort of stand there and go, do you want it? And he always says, yeah, one more. That's beauty, got him. <laughs> He's an extraordinary bowler because usually, you know, a bowler will have one sort of major skill if it's swing, pace, or, you know, they're a bit of a seam bowler. But when one bowler has all three skills, it definitely puts him in an elite category. He goes out there day in, day out and gets the job done, whether it's first innings, second innings, first over, 45th over, charges in. And uh, there's so much to like about him. Love playing alongside him, great team man. All right, through him. He's an absolute machine and he just keeps performing day in, day out. No matter what the captain asks of him or whatever the team needs of him, he just keeps performing and keeps doing the right things by the team. He's an unbelievable athlete when you see him run out the jar and the 90th over during the day. Is this a chance? Oh, oh this is yeah. out. It has to be out. Pat Cummins, late in the day. Or if he's scoring 50 or, or ducking Joffre, it doesn't matter what he does, he seems to be able to do it pretty well. Oh, he's great. He's one of my best mates in cricket. We call him Winksy, smooth operator. Just gets the job done. It's great to just have him playing cricket and being around and being fit. Everyone knew he was pretty special after he debuted in South Africa. It was pretty remarkable, I think, just to see where he's come from. Obviously, having a lot of setbacks at an early age and playing Test cricket at 18. You know, he's only 26, so it's pretty exciting to see what he can potentially do in Test cricket. To have been there when he debuted in South Africa, and as a young bloke, watch him come on the scene performed the way he did, no nerves, not a worry in the world, just looked like he was at home straight away to where he is now, number one bowler in the world. I'm actually looking forward to sitting back once I've retired and watching his career just grow because, yeah, he could end up anywhere.